Hello, I'm Evan Dendre from the Snapcraft team here at Canonical. And thank you for joining this introduction to Snaps and Snapcraft. Traditional methods of publishing software for Linux are problematic. Deep familiarity with the Linux operating system is a prerequisite to packaging applications. Complex code is required to manage installation and updates. These traditional methods are not transactional. If updates fail, the end user is unfortunately left to debug. The operations are unbounded. Resolving file system conflicts is a manual process for the end user. And ultimately, these traditional methods are risky. Because of this variability, installing updates must be a manually initiated end user operation. For you, the developer, working in this loosely defined environment is unpredictable. Each new release of your application may become time consuming and costly. So what is the alternative? Well, being one of the largest packagers of Linux software for over a decade and entering the cannot fail environment of mobile and IoT, Canonical created Snapcraft. And Snapcraft is a platform for delivering your applications and updates to Linux safely. It helps you publish desktop, server, and Internet of Things applications. Whether you're developing on Ubuntu, Windows, or Mac, Snapcraft will let you target Linux with ease. Snaps are also easy to create. The format is simple and declarative with just three stanzas, metadata, confinement level, and build definition. And you can see all three in this working example here. There are plugins for the most popular build systems and languages, and the format is easily extensible with inline shell commands. You can bundle your dependencies for predictable behavior, even for bigger pieces like a database. The definition can equally just take pre-built binaries from your build system. Publishing your applications through the Snap Store will showcase it to the tens of millions of Linux systems. This includes any Ubuntu release, all the way back to 14.04 and all the releases in between. It does not matter whether your application is open source, freemium, subscription-based, or any other license model. All applications can be published at the Snap Store. And if you want frictionless payments from the credit cards users already have in the Snap Store, you can use our infrastructure for that too. So by publishing the single application bundle to the Snap Store, you reduce pages of per distribution system configuration and app installation instructions that you may already have to just a single link. Click this download from the Snap Store button and you will be directed to a details page for your app where the end user can learn more about it. If they click install, your application will be installed in the same configuration that you tested. It does not matter what libraries are present or how the Linux distribution has been particularly configured. These few removing parts mean that you, the developer, spend less time debugging through missing or misaligned dependencies on your end user systems. All of the Snap-enabled distributions then become a single black box for you to target. And the same can be said for updates. Any update you publish will work on Snap-enabled systems without special casing. And users will continue to receive application updates even when their operating system stops shipping its own updates. These app updates are automatically reviewed and published instantly. Each update is cryptographically signed and is tamper-proof once installed. They are atomic. If an update fails, it automatically rolls back to the previous version. You can bundle health checks with your application that let the update validate itself. If these health checks fail, the application is automatically rolled back to the previous version. And so here we can see a work-in-progress version of our release interface. You have access to all these same controls in the current platform. Here you can see the stable, candidate, beta, and edge risk channels that your application can be published to. You can use these channels to create testing programs for your application. Users then subscribe to a level of risk that they are most comfortable with. You can also see tracks in this view. Tracks allow you to maintain major versions of your application in parallel. 
They let you introduce incompatible changes without breaking existing users. The end users can then switch between tracks with a single command, retaining their data. With Snaps in the Snap Store, you no longer have to remind users to install updates. The updates happen automatically. As soon as you publish, end user systems will start automatically refreshing to the new version. More and more systems will wake for one of their four daily update checks until everyone is on the new version. These updates are delivered as binary deltas, meaning that even the most frequently updated applications will not put undue burden on end user bandwidth. By reducing the versions of your application in the wild, you can grow exponentially while keeping support costs low. And you can watch as your current user base grows and moves from one version of your app to the next. You can break down by version, geographic region, by Linux distribution, and by risk channel. You have APIs to manage all of this data in your own system if you so desire. But here we can see a work in progress version of our analytics view. You have access to all the same controls in the current platform. You can see the areas here where the Jazz Writer application is most popular. You can see the active users migrate from one version to the next, the retention of users from one version to the next, and you can see a breakdown of application installs over time. Canonical helps as well. They highlight and grow the audience of the very best Snap applications. These have reached the front pages of major tech journals and discussion sites. Ubuntu as well has a social media audience of hundreds of thousands with Snaps regularly featured there. And applications featured in the desktop storefront have consistently seen a large boost from that promotion. Snapcraft itself is built by Canonical, makers of Ubuntu. And like Ubuntu, Snapcraft and the Snap software are open source. Canonical and other large software publishers are using the platform to publish their own software today, putting their full weight behind it. Spotify, Slack, and Skype have all chosen to use Snaps. And it's easy for you to get started. Go to snapcraft.io and click Build Your First Snap. You can select from 12 different language and framework guides. Each guide will walk you through publishing a full real-world application to the Snap Store in about 20 minutes. If you have further questions, come and join our developer forum at forum.snapcraft.io. And be sure to attend our deep dive on creating snaps this week. Thank you. I'll now take any questions that you may have.